I'm gonna do a little video of uh, how I load my snares and basically put my snares together. I use the same same exact method for coyote, uh, fox, <clears throat> coon. Um, I'm gonna try doing mink this year. Hopefully it works out. I haven't had too much luck with mink around here except for trapping muskrats and farm ponds. So other than that, but all I use for coyote, fox sometimes is uh, the 330 second. 7x7 seven seven, uh, galvanized aircraft cable. You can buy stuff from FNT. Um, I get mine uh, from FNT. Uh, order a lot of stuff off of them. So uh, basically, I cut mine about four and a half in, uh, feet uh, at a time. And then uh, as I take it, I'll show you how I have this set up here kind of see this right here is what I'm loading my snares on um, by loading snares what you're gonna do is you're gonna find how that snare your cable curls naturally so what you want to do is naturally go with it right across there you're gonna get a nice loop in it Like I said, you're going to want it all natural. So basically, it's going to kink in like that. Now, load that tip up a little bit so you get a nice, nice loop going on, something like that. Okay. What I do, once I go ahead and load it, take it. I'm going to go the opposite way I loaded that snare. So it's going right along, and you're going to want to tip that up like that. Works a lot better with needle nose, but I couldn't find them, so I'm just using pliers. You're gonna have your snake come in just like that. You want your hoop to be like that. Okay. So what we're gonna do here? I have my cable lock. I have my ferrules. Now I slip the ferrule on first, just like that. At the end, you want a little bit hanging out. Um, I actually. Took a pair of bolt cutters from Harbor Freight, 18 bucks, and basically I took a grinder to it and ground it out a little bit um, so I could use it for crimping. <laughs> uh, I, when I first got into trapping, I saw the price of the crimpers and wasn't too fond of it. So. See what kind of crimp it does. It's a pretty good crimp. I mean, it's not super, super fancy, but it gets the job done. Um, once you have that all built on there, I take, take my snare lock. Make sure I put this on right. I'm using the Sure, uh, sure Locks by Berkshire. Um, they seem to work good for me. So, put that on there. Get that bent up a little bit more. And then, the same way, I know it's kind of hard to see with this cable. I don't have the best of camera, but You don't want teardrops. Teardrops in a snare are no good. It's kind of got a tear. Well, kick it down a little bit. It's kind of got a tear, teardrop to it. I'm gonna 
did it a few more time just to kind of get that perfect loop like that. I want a circle. Um, when you load a snare, it helps out having a good circle. Um, it helps the speed of the lock close down. And of course, this is a non relaxing lock, so it won't back out. And that's, that's how you want it. I'm sorry. That's how you want it to look right there. That's loaded. It's not a teardrop. Your teardrops would be like that. You want it loaded. I want that thing to be circled. I can't stress that enough. I learned the hard way when I first got into trapping. Um, a loaded snare produces a lot more than one that's not. So you can see what we're working with. Um, what I do after that, <clears throat> I buy plastic um, gas line. They use it for chemicals. You can get it at Tractor Supply. Fairly cheap. That's what I use. Put it on the end of my wire. Now that's going to be your, your um, support collar um, later on. So I go ahead and do that. Put that on. Then I put, I make my own, um, just something I've, I, I like doing. I like making my own stuff, so. Um, for coyote, I use two, two washers. Um, for raccoon, I only use one. Um, you can put them on after you got your swivel on. That'll help it, help it swivel a lot more. Um, some guys put the swivel halfway in. I've noticed that on a couple a couple guys I've talked to. That's what they like. Personally, I don't. So you can see, put that right in that groove there. One side's flat, one's got kind of a point to it. I'm just gonna crimp it down. Just like that. So you can see how that will swivel. Two is a lot better than one when it comes to swivels for coyotes. Um, and then, you know, basically I'll paint these once I go out into the field. Um, that is a loaded snare. It helps that that lock go down a lot quicker, you know, instead of him having to run into it. But that's all I got for now. I thank you guys for watching.